So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So I figure since Disney now owns the rights to Home Alone, we could do a Home Alone movie. Oh, yeah, maybe Home Alone movie number six will be a winner. It might be. So is this like a sequel or a remake or a reboot? Oh, it's something. I'm almost sure of it. Fantastic. So tell me about this bad boy. Right, so we're going to meet this couple, Pam and Jeff, right? And they're the home intruders in this movie. Oh, boy. So they're going to get messed up by a bunch of homemade traps in the third act, huh? They sure are, sir. So Pam and Jeff are going through some rough times financially, right? Oh. Yeah, Jeff can't find a job, so they have no choice but to sell their home, and they don't want to tell their kids because they'd be heartbroken. These are the wet bandits of this version? That's right. Oh. Feel kind of bad for them. It's a rough situation, you know. Plus, it's happening at Christmas time. I don't really want anything bad to happen to Pam and Jeff. Oh, but it's gonna. Oh, no. And so they find out that this rare doll they own is actually worth $200,000. Oh, fantastic. But then it seems like this really rude kid that stopped by their open house to pee in their toilet may have stolen it. And this kid is the Kevin McAllister type character? He is, yeah. His name is Max, and he's really rude to Jeff. Makes fun of him, makes fun of the dolls. Just, just real nice nasty all around. Huh. So anyway, this kid's whole family's going on a trip to Japan for the holidays, and he hates them. They're super annoying to him. Are they all super mean with him and whatnot? Not particularly, no. He just finds them annoying. Okay. So to get a little quiet time, he goes into the family car. Uh, okay, actually, I'm gonna stop you there. That seems like a missed opportunity. Oh, sorry. He goes into their beautiful BMW. The pinnacle of comfort, complete with top-of-the-line rear seat entertainment system. Perfect for kids. Okay, there you go. That sounds a lot more money. Great. So anyway, then there's a bunch of chaos and his family leaves him behind accidentally. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. So he has fun being alone for a little while, but then he gets kind of bored of it and he misses his family. Oh, so he's like, the, his story arc is already done. Pretty much, yeah. So now we can go focus on Pam and Jeff some more. Right, I hope things work out for them. They're gonna get so injured, my guy. Oh no. So then they get an offer on the house, but these people want to sign before the new year. So they need to find this doll or they have to take the offer. Because of the financial financial troubles. Yeah, man, this poor family. They're gonna endure a lot of physical pain later. I don't want that to happen. So Jeff overhears this family security code, and then he manages to convince Pam that they should just go into the house and take the doll and be on their way. Okay. But then once they're inside the house, Max thinks they want to kidnap him and sell him. Why does he think that? Well, because see, while they're in the house, they refer to the doll as the ugly little boy, and they call it him instead of it. Oh, a very unnatural way of speaking. Yeah, super unnatural, but this way the movie can happen. Well, we do want, it would be ideal if the movie happened. Yeah, and then also they hear this digital home assistant speaking German, so they're like, oh, this kid has a grandmother home with him. Oh, okay. And then a police officer shows up because Jeff misremembered the security code, and it's Buzz McAllister. He's from the first movie. Yeah, he is. And the second movie. I think so. And the third movie. No, it wasn't in that one, I don't think. The fourth movie? Yes, but played by a different actor. Still pretty cool. The fifth movie? No. The sixth one? That's this movie. He's from this movie. He sure is. Yes, sir. Oh, being from this movie is tight. Yeah, okay. Anyway, then Pam insinuates that she'll have intercourse with him, so he lets them go. Oh, my God. And so the next day at church, Max shows up because he wants to take some toys that are intended for the less fortunate. This kid is awful, and I don't like him. And Pam and Jeff see him talking to this old lady, so they're like, oh, that's the grandmother. Oh, so they go up to her and explain the situation? Well, no, because remember, they think she speaks German. So they stick with the breaking and entering plan? Just because she speaks German doesn't mean she can't also speak English. English. Listen, sir, I don't know what to tell you. The movie's gotta happen somehow. All right, I guess. So then Max prepares his house with a bunch of booby traps because that's a major part of this IP. Sure, of course. And he ices up the whole street so Pam and Jeff crash their car into a streetlight. And that doesn't alert any neighbors? It doesn't, no. So then Max starts throwing a bunch of Diet Coke and Mentos at Pam. So she's like, ah, please stop. Don't do this. Oh, she's like, she's communicating with him. Yeah, they're like talking back and forth. It's pretty funny. So does she ask him about the doll? Well, no, because if they mention the doll, that'll resolve the whole conflict. So they're just gonna kind of say stuff like, hey, we just wanna talk here. Okay, right. Well, I guess we gotta stretch this out as much as possible to fit all the slapstick gags in there. Exactly. And we've got a ton of those. For example, Jeff farts in his wife's face. All right. Gas from his lower intestine shoots into her nostrils. I know what a fart is. Me too. So then Max is gonna shoot a pool ball right in Jeff's face and knock him unconscious. Oh my, this guy's just trying not to lose his house. Yeah, his dire financial situation has forced him into this desperate position and he just wants his family to be okay. Exactly. And now he's gonna get the crap kicked out of him for it. That's not, this isn't fun. So then while Jeff is unconscious because of the head trauma, Max slips a VR headset onto his face. Oh. So then when Jeff comes to, he sees himself and the 
Santa outfit he's wearing on the edge of a big cliff. That's not how VR works. It might be. It's not. So then Jeff and Pam are going to continue to get injured for an extended period of time. Is it going to be hard for them to get Max to stop assaulting them? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, once we kind of run through the list of booby traps, then they'll mention the doll. Right, of course, the solution that was just a couple of words away this entire time. Yeah, and it turns out Max didn't even steal the doll. He just took a soda can. It was all just a big misunderstanding. All right. And Pam is like, wow, Max, if we knew you were home by yourself, we never would have broken in. So wait, they only broke in because they thought there was also an old lady there? That seems to be the implication, yeah. Huh. So then it turns out Jeff's nephew had stolen the doll, so they're able to sell it, which solves every problem they've ever had. And what happens with, like, Max's house? I imagine it's pretty destroyed. Yeah, the doll covered all that, too. And now the two families come together and have Christmas together, and they're friends now, and they're not even hanging out with their own families anymore. Sure, that may as well happen. It's gonna, so what do you think? Well, on the one hand, I think by making the villain sympathetic, it kind of undoes the whole premise and makes it a lot less fun. Oh. But I think if we could get a Macaulay Culkin cameo, that could elevate the whole project. You think he'd do that? I don't see why not. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.